Hello guys, we are in the Czech Republic and I brought you to yet another factory tour. Today we're gonna see how plastic components of board games are made. There is like beautiful machines that bring like a lot of pieces, a lot of uh, components from CG games, from Lost Ruins of Arnak, Dungeon Lords, Dungeon Pets, from Tolkien. There's a lot of stuff to see inside. So let's, let's go have a look. So you already know how cardboard is transformed into beautiful boards, boxes and cards. But what is the story behind all the plastic components like cubes and miniatures? It all starts in the shape of small plastic granules. You always have the base plastic material which is transparent and then mix it with colors and different percentages to create the right hue. So you've got the mix of plastic granules and then that needs to be heated to become liquid. And when the plastic is still hot, they do what's called injection molding. We have a heated barrel in which we feed the plastic. The high temperature in there, about 200 degrees Celsius, melts the plastic in the helical screw, so it is now hot molten plastic and some more heat is added from the movement of it inside the screw. The hot liquid plastic is then injected inside an iron mold of the shape we want to create and it needs about 20 seconds to cool down inside the mold so it hardens. Then pins push out the cubes from the connection tubes of the mold, you see them popping out and the next batch follows soon after. So now if you look very closely at your board game components, you can see the hints of the separation from the connection tubes. The connection tubes are of course not used in the final product. They are melted and recycled and 30% of that can be used again. And how are the molds inside the machines created, you might ask? How do you get completely different components and custom shapes? So the mold is basically a hollow cavity that when you inject the plastic it takes the shape of that cavity. The material of the mold is hard iron and using electricity and graphite, because graphite is a material that's easier to shape, they slowly chisel the iron with the graphite and create the mold. and each of the molds is created for a different type of component. They place them inside the other big machines that we saw and the production of the pieces can start. The pieces are then collected and they are put in bags and from there to smaller bags that contain the sets of each board game. For each set, they don't count the items one by one, but it's much faster to create the set based on how much it should weigh. They are assembled together with the other components and that's how some of your favorite board games are made. <laughs> 